hi everybody and thank you for watching so here is another organizing video i am in my hallway and this is the area of my home i want to tackle today so all of these bags here i think i have about 15 bags of products i am an extreme couponer and all these items i've purchased with couponing and then this cabinet here so this is my linen closet this is where i keep most of my stockpile i can barely open it so i do need to clean this area i want to get rid of all of these items we'll basically put them away and then i do have this cupboard here with most of my other stockpile so my stockpile is mostly in the hallway between this cupboard and my linen closet so i do need to tidy up this area you can see the floor is an absolute mess so i do want to tidy up my stockpile and then find room for all of these items that i have purchased with couponing and then but basically what i'm going to do first is i will take all the items out of the bag semi-organize it on the floor and then i can show you a before of what my stockpile looks like in the linen closet because right now i cannot just i can't open it all those bags are blocking the entrance of those uh, doors so i am slowly taking all the items out of the bags since i'm taking them out i just wanted to organize them a little bit so i'm putting like products together all of the ones along the wall are products that i'm going to be putting in the linen closet and then all the other ones that's on the floor closest to the camera is stuff that i put in the cupboard and so as i am pulling the items out of the bag i just want to semi organize it just a little bit and then i will give you an overview of what uh basically all the items that i have and then I'll show you a before of my linen closet and then we'll go through and start putting a lot of the items away. I didn't realize how many uh, butt wipes I got so I thought you know what let me just put them in this bag for now because a lot of the times I just store them on the floor in the cupboard and it's just better for it to be in a bag than me uh, putting it on the floor so i just put it in a bag for now also as i am organizing these you'll see that i'll end up putting more stuff back into other bags as i go through and organize all of my items there are products there that we don't usually use that often and if i have bulk items i'd rather try and sell them so i have been putting a lot of items in bags and then i've been trying to list them so you'll see me do that as well so even though i'm taking them all out now you'll also see me put stuff in bags because i'm going to try and resell those items So I'm on my last bag right here and there is a lot of items here on the floor, more than a family would use in a year. So with Extreme Couponing, we do get a lot of items for free or very cheap. I can't say no to free items, honestly. And so we do get these items and I tend to either resell them, give them to family and friends. Uh, my mom did come by the other week and went through the stockpile and she did send a box to the Philippines. And so uh, there is ways for me to get rid of these items. So all these items here on the floor is more likely gonna go into the cupboard, but yeah, there's a lot of items here that's gonna go in there. And then all of these, so you can see there's some shampoo, conditioner, body wash lotions all of those are going to go into the linen closet so i'm going to try and find space for them but as i go through the linen closet i'm going to see if i can create bulk uh, listings so like four of one like a product and list them on either OfferUp or facebook so right now up here you can see there's baby wipes there's batteries and um, hair items i have my shampoos and conditioners on this side also on this side i have the more premium shampoo conditioner and um, uh, stylers here i've got a deodorant uh, hand soaps and shaving that's all baby and uh, mouthwash all of those are lotion and then all of those are body wash so you can see there's empty holes there because my mother-in-law did come by and grab a bunch of stuff to send to the philippines so now I, it's the best time for me to go through and try and find homes for all these items that I just purchased. So my first goal was to do the body wash because that was the one that I saw the most holes and I have the most products. So I saw there with the axe that I have 
a good amount so i thought you know what i can do bulk of like sell three or four at a, at a time so i just put them in the bag for now and then i'm just starting to try and make bulk uh listings i guess like three or four of a kind and then that way i'm just gonna put them in the bag and then list them to sell this way of organizing my stockpile has worked for me so when i took the items out of the bag i semi organize them by like products and now i'm doing it based on category so seeing all of the body wash that i have i'm able to organize it a lot better in the area and then if i run out of space then that's when i say you know what if i can bulk sell them i'm going to put them in a bag and then try and resell them i'd rather sell like three or four of a kind and then all the stuff that we use quite a lot of i want to keep them and put them in my stockpile so you see i've created rows of axe uh, there's nivea soft soap i've got uh, dove and olay those are the main items that we use a lot of so i'm just trying to really fit as much as i can in the area that i have available to me and anything that does not fit that's when i'm going to try and resell them you're gonna see me place some dove body wash in a bag those items there i know a friend will buy them from me so there's no point in me finding a home for them when i'm just going to take them out and resell them and so i'm basically done with my body wash that bag that i'm putting some in is just my excess that i'm just going to leave for now and so body wash is done now we're going to work on the next shelf which has deodorants uh, hand soaps uh, sunscreen and shaving items so i am trying to organize as much as possible and then as you see i'm trying to put items in but then i am taking items out as well stuff that we don't use and i'm going to try and resell them so there was a few old spice deodorant there that i know no one's going to use so i'm just going to try and resell it and then all the other items that i know we are going to use i will leave them there so right now i'm just looking at all of the expiry dates all the sunscreen so anything that's going to expire sooner i want to put it in front and all these other ones that are not going to expire to like 2026 i'm hiding them behind because uh, we don't need them for now and i need the space uh, there's not that much space in these cupboards these cupboards are actually quite tall and so you can see i've tried to make some makeshift um, smaller shelves to make uh, more space for the products but it is very difficult so i need to try and find another way to uh, make space in these cupboards and so you can see i'm trying to put as much hand soap in there as possible and then all of the sunscreen as well now i'm going to work on the shaving section so all of these bulldogs nobody uses that in my house so i'm going to try and resell those i'm just trying to make space for more of the products that i did purchase and then as i'm going through i'm also checking expiry dates so i did throw a few items behind me those are now expired and i don't want to keep them so next shelf we're going to work on is the mouthwash and baby so i am going to pull a few baby items out that i'm going to try and resell i'm also looking at expiry dates as well so if they're expired i'm just going to throw them away i do have another makeshift shelf in here so i'm just trying to look at the items and then try and find room for some of the new items that i have purchased so you'll see me pull stuff out that i'm going to sell and then put stuff in and i do need to make space because all of that mouthwash that's behind me i need to try and find room for them on this shelf if not they're just going to end up on the floor kind of where that excess body wash is so i'm just trying to make as much space a room as possible for all of these items so i was only able to make room for about three of them so those other ones are just going to stay on the floor for now next we're working on a lotion so i do have quite a lot of lotion here and i do not have a lot of space so i am going to try and see if i can sell some items so all of those eucerins i'm probably going to give to my mother-in-law to send to the philippines uh, they are pretty good lotion but honestly we do have our favorites our nivea and uh, stuff like that so i'd rather make space for the items that we will use instead of using making space for the items that we don't use that often so i am moving things around i'm trying to make space for these items 
that are on the floor. They're also kind of putting, creating rows in a sense, making, making like products together and just making space for all of these items. So the lotion is all done now i'm gonna put all of these eucerin in a bag and give that to my mother-in-law she will send those to the philippines so i hope they enjoy that now it's time to work on the hair care products we do get a lot of hair care products when it comes to couponing so you will see as i put like products together i'm gonna put them in bags i'm gonna try and sell most of these items so i'm putting like two shampoo and two conditioner that are like products together and i'll try and resell them online so you'll see me put a lot of shampoo and conditioner in bags because i do have quite a lot and i just don't have the space so i'm putting a lot of these l'oreal in a bag i'm going to try and resell them and then i do have a lot of garnier as well and so i just want to keep all of the good shampoos so dove and we have some head and shoulders we have ogx all of those ones that i would class them as a little bit more premium not the cheaper ones i want to keep uh dove i did put a few to sell because i don't have the space but anything that was not a uh, set I decided to keep for now and we can use them we're not fussy when it comes to shampoo conditioner so i just wanted to keep a few that we will use i'm also looking at expiry dates for products and uh, to see if we can throw them away so i can make more space for other items so now i'm just rearranging between two shelves so all of these premium shampoos and conditioners if i can find space on the other side i will put it there those tresemme we don't use them so i'm just going to put them aside my mom will take them to the philippines or pack them up and they can use them there and i'm just trying to like i said make rows of like products so it looks a little bit more neater and i can see all the products that we do have so like i said the premium section has like ogx nexus and stuff like that the other one has garnier dove head and shoulders um and l'oreal so we'll do a after video once we've done all of the organizing and i can show you all the products that i do have in my stockpile a little bit later So we are all done with those shelves now we're going to work on this top shelf and it's a little bit difficult for me to kind of show you what i'm doing but i do have a lot of batteries here and i needed to try and organize them and we do have some baby wipes as well as some hair products so hair ties brushes and stuff like that so i'm just trying to make a little bit more organization with this cupboard i decided to take some of the baby wipes out of the packaging and uh, that way there's more space and then also with these batteries I'm trying to figure out how best to put it in this like little basket maybe that's going to be a bit more organized than me just having it on the shelf so I'm trying very hard to organize as much as possible but this changes every couple of months. Whenever I get new products, I then have to reorganize again because I need to make more space for the new products that I do buy. But yeah, that's, I'm happy with the way it turned out for now. Now we we're gonna work on the stuff on the floor. So that cupboard is all done basically. And we're gonna start semi-organizing this pile here on the floor so that I have all the like products together and I can open up that cupboard there on the right and start putting all these items in that cupboard there. As 
As I sift through these items on the floor, you'll see me continue to open up the cupboard because I do find other items that should have been part of that area. So I found some little shampoos and conditioners. A few, I found a few baby items. I found some body wipes that I usually put where the uh, body wash is. So yeah, don't mind me continuing to open up that cupboard because those items do have to go in that area. But yeah, there's less items here than uh, on the other side, but they're more small items. So I do have my medicine section, I have my oral care, I have my facial section, uh, hair color, uh, feminine care. So I'm just trying to organize them so it's going to be easier for me when I open up that cupboard. And before I do that, I wanted to just fold up all of my bags so that they're not in the way. So you'll see me do that. Usually I do this at the end of me organizing, but I've already got it there. I just want to continue to organize and make this a bit more streamlined. Okay, so all done. Now we're going to look at this cupboard so first thing i'm going to do is pull all these items out on the floor because i need space to try and get into the cupboard to organize these items and i am finding items that are expired here so you, at the end i'm going to show you a huge bag full of expired items it's crazy the amount of items that were there i like i said i do do this uh probably like every month or every other month and so it's i try to stay as organized as possible but we do get quite a lot of items and sometimes items do expire and so it does hurt but what can you do all right so i just wanted to adjust the camera a little bit it's a bit of a weird angle because this cupboard is so long and so i finally have space to get in there now I'm going to work on all of the toothpaste. So I make sure that I put all of the expiry dates at the front and then that way I can see which one's going to expire first. Also, I have way too many crests and my family doesn't use that much crest. So you're going to see me try and put like products together as well and I'm going to try and sell them. I want to just get, um, I want to have enough products in here for my family and I don't want to be hoarding a lot of items that I know we're not going to use. So as I'm going through, I'm throwing stuff that expired. And if I can create bundles, I'm going to create bundles and try and sell those items. Apologies for the angle of the camera. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just reorganizing this shelf here that has the toothpaste, a few random like hand sanitizers and soaps. And I'm just trying to organize it to make a bit more space for other products. Okay, so that shelf is done. Now I'm going to work on this medicine shelf and it is an absolute mess. I did go through this and I pulled out a bunch of items for my mom to send to the Philippines. They really like those pain meds, like the Aleve and Tylenol and stuff like that. So I did take quite a lot out of here to give to her. And so that's why there's a lot of open space. And so now I'm trying to organize it as best as I can, but like products together. I have a lot of kids, medicine, cough syrups, pain meds. I have a lot of allergy products. As I am putting them in the shelf, I am double checking the expiry dates as well to make sure I'm not putting expired products there. And so yeah, I'm just rearranging as much as possible. You can't see what I'm doing down the bottom, but you can see how this shelf is evolving and how I'm adding items in there and taking items out and just moving things around to make use of the space that I do have. In that corner there, I also have a bunch of shaving items that I don't have space for down the bottom. 
they're okay there. It's not bothering anybody, so I'm just going to leave it for now. But I just want to focus more on the medicine section because the last time I organized my stockpile, I did not touch this shelf at all. So I do have quite a lot of items here that did expire over the last couple of months. And so I do want to get rid of those and only have items that my family use and are in the not expired are in within date so that's what i'm doing right now So the medicine shelf is done, now I'm going to focus on the one below that which is basically mostly facial care. So I have uh, moisturizers, I have wipes like facial wipes, makeup removal wipes and I do have a cleanser. So I'm just organizing that a little bit, moving things around so I can make space for the items that I did purchase over the last couple of weeks. And so you can kind of see what I'm doing there but I'm just moving things around and i do need to go through this one again i'm hoping when family come over they will go through this uh, usually this is the area that my family likes the most the facial items and so i was able to organize that uh, quite a bit now i've just pulled this uh, drawer out this is where i keep all of my toothbrushes so i'm just putting that in there for now and then i'm start i'm gonna have to start looking at the makeup as well so i'm moving that I'm putting that in there for now and then I need to move all of these tubs out of the way so I can also organize the makeup. So this drawer has most of the makeup but there are a few makeup like the co CoverGirl and Maybelline that we get so many of that I don't want to keep in this drawer. I want to keep some of the unique makeup and stuff that I will use in this drawer and then anything else I'm just gonna put in these tubs and then more than likely I'm gonna ask my mother-in-law if she wants to take like a whole tub and give it to the Philippines because we just get way too many all these tubs here have quite a lot of makeup in them they also have um, that one has all of the chapsticks and lip balms and some of the other ones also have a few trial size products so i do have to go through those eventually i have one tub there full of uh what is that i think the foundation that we got for money makers at rite aid i'm gonna ask my mother-in-law if she wants those as well yeah i just want to get rid of quite a lot of stuff that i can't resell and i don't use and so yeah it's getting there there are still quite a lot of items on the floor but i am trying my best to organize it all of these a cough drops i'm just putting in that tub because i had an empty tub i'm trying to reorganize a few of these other items i have a bag full of cleansers and it just wasn't working with those bags so i thought you know what let me just get a box i'm gonna just tape it up and from there i can hopefully put them in that box and that would be a better solution because the bag that i was using was ripping and yeah, I think the box will do good for now. So you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just trying to organize most of the stuff on the floor so I can make space for all those other items that are behind me. I have some razors there that I need to make space for and uh, a few trial size items there. It just was getting too overwhelming that I kind of left some of them that I can deal with later. But I just wanted to, at this point, just wanted to get everything off the floor and find space for them in these cupboards. I bought a bunch of razors in a bag as well. I'm just gonna get rid of those. And then now it's time for me to start cleaning up. Anything that's expired, I put in this bag. Um, stuff that I'm not going to keep, I'm also putting them in bags. And now it's just more or less the cleanup time. This is the cleanup part of the video where I'm just trying to stuff everything in the cupboards and cleaning the floor.
so i am almost there the floor is looking a lot more cleaner as i continue to just pick up all of the bits and bobs that's on the floor and finding homes for them that's my goal i did have all of these hair colors and honestly there was no space up the top so i just put on the bottom for now but my mother-in-law will be coming by and she'll probably take quite a bit of those to send to the philippines so it's okay to leave it on the floor for now until she gets here and then she can uh, go through all of those items and so yeah it's getting there there is still quite a lot of items and most of these other ones that i need to uh, try and resell that's what i need to do uh, after i record this video edit it and um, upload it i need to find time to list all these items on offer up and facebook and try and uh, sell them and recoup some of the money that i would have used when i purchased these items So now that the floors are cleared of products, it is time for me to do a quick little vacuum. Uh, my carpet, it looks a bit messy or dirty, but it's not. It's just the way that the carpet is, depending on the way the vacuum is. You can see that it just changes color. It's a bit different. I don't particularly like it, but it's okay for now once we get the money and I uh, want to change up the floors. We'll do that in a later time. But yeah, vacuum is done. So let's do a recap of what my hallway looked like before. So there are a lot of bags here on the floor with products that I purchased with couponing. So I really wanted to find homes for all these items because I could not get into the cupboard that was behind it. So that was my goal for today. And this is what my hallway looks like now. So you can see the floor. There are a few bags here, but... These are items that I'm going to try and sell. So I have a few bags there that I'm going to sell these items potentially on OfferUp or Facebook. These other items here in the corner, I'm just going to leave them for now. But this is what my stockpile looks like now. There are a few empty holes, which I'm fine with. But you can see those are all the items that I have purchased with couponing. We have my uh, top shelf here with some batteries, hair products, and baby wipes these are all my shampoo conditioner and stylers over here has my body wash i have deodorant hand soaps lotions mouthwash baby products shaving items a lot of products more than what a family can use in a year but that's what happens when you coupon i'd rather get 10 items for free than pay retail for one item and so this is the other side of my stockpile so you can see feminine care at the top you can see hair color, all of my medicine. There's all of my facial care items. We have uh, toothpaste and random items. And yeah, the floor is a mess, but that's okay. I'm happy with all the items that I have in this area. I will more than likely change it up in a couple of months. And so this bag here has all of the expired and trash. The other bag over there has uh, stuff for my mother-in-law, but she'll probably grab other items. But other than that, that is my hallway. So I hope you enjoyed my video organizing my hallway. And thank you for watching.